everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the phaser domain and how you could interconvert within the phaser domain itself. So to begin with, uh, let's say, remember when I talked about the intro to impedance, and I want to apologize for mispronouncing, misspelling uh, impedance. Impedance is spelled impedance. Yeah, I put E here. So, uh, whatever. So that was in that previous video. So let's say we have an AC voltage, and then we have a, a resistor, let's say it's 4 ohms, and then we have an inductor that has a magnitude of impedance of, uh, let's say, 2J ohm. Positive and imaginary means an inductor. Negative imaginary means a capacitor. So remember I said we could combine these two into one, into one box, and then our circuit then would look like uh, one box connected to that AC voltage and it would have a magnitude and just combine them even though they're not like terms we would end up having 4 plus 2J and the units is ohms okay now we could in the phasor domain we could also express this as a magnitude and an angle so you'd have some number here and then you would write the angle in which that number is directed in. Okay, so it has some angle, some angle here, okay, with the degree sign. And uh, so let's say, let's just draw the phasor diagram of 4 plus 2j, uh, this impedance. So you have a magnitude, a real, remember this is the x-axis is the real axis, the y is the imaginary axis, I'm going to put a j. Right, so it has, uh, it's real its real component as 4 and then its imaginary component as a positive 2 so that's going to look something like this that's 4 and that's 2j okay and then you can write the find the magnitude of this with simple trigonometry uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then okay so we can find the hypotenuse uh, of this and then we type that in the calculator you get the square root of 20 so you get the square root of 20 uh, as the magnitude and then to find the angle you can just do simple trigonometry so inverse tangent of a half would be the angle and so let's just do that in the calculator so the inverse tangent of a half okay, is 20, 26.56 degrees and so then you could rewrite this, what I have here inside this box, as, all right, so we have the AC voltage, and then inside here, okay, this is, this is equivalent, not the same, but equivalent, all right, and then you would have the inside as the square root of 20 times, all right, or along with the angle, which is 26.56 degrees. All right, yeah, I'm running out of space. So let me just write this here. So yeah, as I said, instead, all right. So then you just write this as the square root of 20, uh, and then it has an angle of 26.56 degrees. So that's just uh, interconverting within the phasor domain from a complex number, from a complex number like a plus b j into some number uh, with its degrees. So some theta, some angle with a degree sign.